Flipper Flop host Tarek Al Musa's recent personal life has been anything but boring. After his high-profile divorce from co-star Christina Anstead in 2016, he has officially moved on with Selling Sunset star Heather Rae Young. Here are the strange things about Tarek Al Musa's relationship. After going Instagram official in August 2019, Heather Rae Young told Radar Online that she and Tarek Al Musa had connected over the July 4th weekend that same year. But it appears that the two actually crossed paths long before ever starting a romance. Young told the outlet, he had asked me out and I said no at the time, and he respected that. I was in a past relationship. And yeah, we reconnected on 4th of July through mutual friends. And yeah, the rest is history. This is a real smile. I'm probably blushing too. Sorry, world. <laughs> so no, things yeah. are good. When Al Musa first confirmed their courtship on Instagram, he opted not to bring up that failed first attempt, writing, The first time I saw her smile, she did that thing to my tummy. And I knew right away I needed to get to know her. So I asked her out. She said yes. Before the couple ever started dating, Young was based in Los Angeles and Al Musa lived in Costa Mesa, but Young didn't wait too long before relocating to be with her man. In August 2019, the real estate agent shared on Instagram Live that she was now living in Orange County, but she was still keeping a place in LA. I've been in a relationship with Heather A. Young for a while now and the kids love her. We actually moved in together after only a week of dating. This living arrangement began as Al Musa revealed on Instagram as well as his new series after the couple had been dating just one week. He and Young reportedly split their time between the OC and West Hollywood. And throughout season two of Selling Sunset, viewers watched as Young managed her career and a new relationship. She told Entertainment Tonight that May, You get to see the beginnings of our relationships unravel. You get to see my relationship with the children, how I navigate through balancing work and going back and forth from Orange County to LA. I was balancing a new relationship and then also hustling at work and filming a show, so it was a lot to handle. He went through like a huge divorce and never thought he was gonna get married again and never thought he'd fall in love again, and then he met me. On one episode of the show, Young asked Amanda Smith to cover for her at a house showing because she was set on going to Elmusa's daughter's birthday party in Orange County. When you know, you know. And it looks like Elmusa and Young knew they were ready to get serious right away. In April 2020, Young shared on Instagram, from day one, first date, first 10 minutes, we didn't hold back, we opened up and laid it all out there. Communication and honesty is number one for me. On day two, we decided to commit 100%. People may have thought we were crazy, but we knew. Just one month in, El Musa was ready for Young to meet his children. In August 2019, he revealed to Entertainment Tonight that Young and his kids had met, but that he still hadn't talked to Christina about the new lady in his life. He joked, I haven't talked to her about Heather yet, so that's probably a talk I should probably have pretty soon, like maybe today. Considering like I'm talking about it on TV now, she'll probably find out, I think, right? Even before hitting their one-year anniversary, wedding bells were already ringing in these reality stars' minds. Telling E! News in May 2020 that she's looking forward to marrying Tarek, Young revealed, It's something that when we talk about it, it's real. I know that it's going to happen. But I don't like to push either, and I don't like to bring it up all the time. When TMZ published photos of El Musa canoodling with Young on a yacht in July 2019, the comparisons to the Flipper Flop star's ex-wife were quick to follow. The outlet called her Christina Anstead's, quote, doppelganger. Extra dubbed Young a, quote, Christina lookalike, and Hollywood Life claimed it was like, quote, seeing double. Finally, five months later, Young addressed the matter on an Instagram Live Q&A. When a fan asked Young if she was purposefully, quote, trying to look like Christina, the former playmate replied, how would I be trying to look like someone? Last time I checked, I've looked like this my whole life. While it's pretty clear that Young isn't exactly thrilled with the ongoing comparison to Christina, that doesn't mean the Selling Sunset star isn't cool with her man's ex-wife. The two reportedly even text each other on occasion. If you're wondering what Young and El Musa's ex-wife could possibly have to talk about, Christina told Us Weekly in April 2020 that their texts often revolve around food and drinks they enjoy. She said, We'll like, text each other random recipes right now during isolation. She'll like, send me whatever her favorite go-to granola bar is, and I'll text her back like, whatever mine is. We'll share margarita recipes with each other like a skinny watermelon. So yeah, it's nice. We all get along. Of course, Anstead and Young don't only chat about tequila and snacks. In May 2020, Young revealed to E! News that she contacted Christina for advice after she began spending more time with Tarek and Christina's two kids. Young said, It's only natural for me as a woman to want to reach out to her as their mom and be like, Hey, I'm with your kids. Do you have any tips? Can you help me? I'm new at this. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I am one million times a better person than I ever would have been if I didn't have my kids. It sounds like it's a beneficial situation for everyone when it comes to the solid communication between these two women. When Mother's Day 2020 rolled around, Christina took to her Instagram stories to thank Heather for sending her flowers, which arrived with a note from Christina and Tarek's kids. Clearly, Young has made it a point to forge a relationship with her beau's ex-wife. Regarding her decision to reach out to Christina when she and Al Musa began dating, she told E! News, 
I was the first girl that he openly dated and introduced to his children since the divorce. I really think about how would she feel as their mother and a new girl is living with the kids. It's only natural for me. Previously speaking about Young and Christina's positive dynamic, El Musa himself said during a September 2019 episode of Strahan, Sarah, and Kiki, they get along great. They both eat that healthy hippie food, that weird juice. They do that weird hiking stuff. You know, all that weird stuff. Christina also confirmed to Us Weekly in April 2020 that she and her ex and his new lady all get along just fine. With the ninth season of HGTV's Flip or Flop airing in August 2020, which Tarek still hosts with his ex Christina, the multifaceted reality star now leads two TV series, with his former and current flames. In March 2020, Flipping 101 with Tarek Al Musa premiered on the network, and he even filmed some scenes with Young. After the shoot, he wrote on Instagram, We were both excited and nervous, but we had a blast. She was so cute on camera, I couldn't stop smiling. To be honest with you right now, I'm kind of trying to figure out how I'm going to top this. Though Young has filmed with El Musa for his show, El Musa notably did not appear alongside his current lady during the second season of her reality series. Apparently, Selling Sunset was in production when the two began dating. And while his name is mentioned several times, his physical absence is due to his contract with HGTV. Young told E! News, I would love if Tarek could film with me, but unfortunately right now he can't because of his network and his show. Talk about raising the bar for future birthday presents. In September 2019, El Musa gifted Young a luxury ride for her 32nd birthday, telling people, We both share a love of sports cars. And on our first date, I asked her what her dream car would be. She told me that she has always dreamed of a white Ferrari convertible. Happy birthday, honey! Oh yeah, you like your new car? A mere two months after they started dating, El Musa presented the birthday girl with her $250,000 dream car. So where does a gift giver go from there? Well, for Christmas 2019, the Flipper Flop star went the jewelry route. Around that time, Young revealed to Us Weekly, When we were in Paris, he gave me a beautiful watch, and I feel like I can't really expect more, since it is such an amazing gift. I'm in love with it, and it was very special that he gave it to me when we were in Paris. True to form with their whirlwind romance, El Musa and Young marked one year together with a bang and a ring. I'm asking Heather to marry me. Oh my god. Are you excited? <laughs> yeah. On July 25th, 2020, just three days after celebrating the pair's first anniversary, El Musa asked for Young's hand in marriage during a boat trip to Catalina Island. El Musa announced the news on Instagram, captioning a sweet snapshot of the proposal with, She said yes, hashtag flipping her last name. Heather Ray Young. Babe! Will you marry me? <laughs> Is that a yes? While the Selling Sunset star wasn't expecting her man to pop the question during their romantic getaway, El Musa had it all planned out, from getting her parents' blessing, to the handsome tux he wore, to setting the scene on the beach, complete with Young's favorite flowers. Explaining the meaning behind the location, El Musa told people that the two enjoy boating together and Catalina Island happens to be the perfect place for them. El Musa even shared the details on Young's gorgeous 8-carat diamond engagement ring, adding, The diamond is perfect all the way around, just like Heather. I also picked this ring because 8 is a lucky number. Well, there's certainly no doubt it's lucky for Heather. We're wishing these two stars all the best. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.